Uh, what we're trying to do with Mitch here is uh, it seems to me that he shoots between 78 and 81 and we're just going to try to quiet him down and talk a little bit about how to score as opposed to how to hit it. So we're going to start with the short game, look at the putting, the chipping, uh, and the pitching, try to get that really, really dialed in, make him absolutely deadly from inside of about 125 yards, and that should allow us to bring the other parts of his game into play and hopefully score a little bit lower. Do you understand the bounce of the golf course? Yeah. Okay. How does it work? Uh, it bounces in the ground, under the ball. Okay. So, <coughs> if a chunk is something that happens, <coughs> okay, so if I'm hitting it this direction, and you like to get your toe in a little bit, okay, that's how it looks to me. So it's a little bit shut to start. There's absolutely no bounce on your golf club, so it wants to take a big hit. Oh, that's because when you're trying to do this, I'm thinking the face is open, so I'm trying to get it open. Just remember, when we do this, it's still inside of our left leg. So we yes. never want our golf club to do this. So don't close the face. Huh? Correct. In my mind, it's open right now. That looks. That's exactly how I'd love it to sit. Okay. Well, you know, full shot too. Uh, for this, let's just concentrate on this right now. For this right. particular shot. Okay. Fast hands creates a very fast golf ball. But we don't really want that. So it's going to be more of a nice round right. fluid motion. Yeah, with a nice turn too. It's not but going to be, to be. It's going to be turning through there, and then everything's going to finish in front of you. Okay, slipped a little bit. Boy, the man can keep a lot. So, um, if you were to hit a bunker shot, what would that look like? Well, I'm trying to get on that. I'm trying to hit the bounce, okay, not the edge. But okay. you know, that sometimes gets me where I clump it and, and hit it to okay. the sand. So if so. you were trying to hit a bunker shot at that red and white pole, do what you would do there. Okay, it was a quick hinge. Got in there like this. It was a quick hinge, and then it's a throw down. We want it to up, real nice. Arms and uh, body. Arms and body. The bunker shot. Okay. Go ahead and do this again. We need to go. The whole idea when we're doing this is to relax. We turn. Okay, now we're pulling down, pulling down, pulling down. We're going to call this the cup of coffee. I can rest my cup of coffee on there and not get burned. If this thing turns itself over, those are fast hands. And for this particular shot, this is coming through and we're going to hold that face just like that. We have to get to our left side <coughs> or start on our left side and not let our weight move back to the right. Nice and relaxed. Much better. Make sure that this club moves straighter away. Don't let it move to the inside. Nice and relaxed. Well, now we're just picking them right out of there, right? That felt pretty good. Now what happens when we go to, like I said, let's go to this yellow and white one now. Let's change our target. What's going to change really? Not too much. Our arm swing is going to get a little bit longer. Our legs are going to stay nice and quiet. 60% of our weight on that left side. Good. Any radial motion this way is speed. The best players in the world, what they work on is distance control. <coughs> Not right to left or left to right. It's distance Get control. If it's a little right, but the distance is right, we're pretty good. There we go, good. Really good. Well, I'm not too concerned about the ball striking after what I saw. Not. You get it, you understand what the face needs to oh, do. Oh, on that, I thought about the left shoulder and that would get me to swing too big. And then okay. I hit this big sort of big right to left kind of sliding. Well, just, re just remember this, this is fine. My left shoulder, as long as it makes the motion to get over to this direction as opposed to a spine. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe I was getting two out here. Two out here and maybe too long. Remember, as soon as we put the weight over here, the swing can get short because now we have yeah, power. I was just swinging too long. I was getting out here. You were just like all the rest of the high school players that day. I'm on the four full. <laughs> A little heavy, but again, with the body rotation and weight that moves over here with good balance, it's going to be hard for you to stick it in the ground.
Very, very good. Show up on that one. Fantastic. Well, Wait. here's the thing. For me, when I watch, it's simpler. Yeah. We have less moving parts. Our legs have quieted down. Beautiful. And impact, because there's none of this. A left knee that breaks down, we're not doing that, so we're not closer <coughs> to the ground, which being, brings a chunk into play. You're right here. Look, think about it like this. If I stand straight up and down like that and my arms hang, and my head never moves up and down and I just go like that, won't the club end up in the same spot? Yeah. You know? If I start moving around is when we start chunking them and lunging and beautiful. When it starts square, if you do this, now it's shut and we're hitting that thing low and left and the distance is long. Just by airing with this club face a little bit more open, we take divots out of play. Beautiful, I love it. How about this? It was this a little as opposed to that a little before that. Your pull comes more from your hands, not so much of your path. Can you see that ball start just a little left of the target and move left? That means the face is a little closer to the target line. Beautiful. Your primary target is to the left, because if this ball is going to fall a little to the right with an open face, we aim at it, it'll be to the right. So this is going to be big on picking our target. a little bit below your feet. This part of your arm stays on the seam of your shirt. So if you go like this and you don't turn, it's behind you and we're stuck and it has to go out. And it goes this way. So as this thing goes, here's the club. If your right arm goes off your side in an attempt to keep it down and we're in here, now we're like this and we're out and we flip. So keep it uh, yes. in front of your chest. In front of my chest. Yeah, so here's this relax. Boom, right there and keep this arm right here. Remember, this arm doesn't do that. It's just gonna go like this. And we're pretty much done. Keep it right elbow in front of your chest. A little bit more. Don't let it go behind you. It stays right on the seam of your shirt. Uh, a little bit. a little bit thin. Where do you think you're aiming? Uh, I'm going to go for Okay. It's really good. Take the club back halfway and stop. Not really good. It's pretty good, right? Over your chest. This is going right up your forearm when it gets up there. That's beautiful. A little bit of a pull. Just a little, you know, here, from a golf swing standpoint, the transition is fast. So it gets here, it's perfect, and your first move is that, and your first move should be that. How do I fix that? Well, we'll get to that point. We're starting here, and we'll get to the full swing. Good, sir. Beautiful. That felt really 